In this video, we will demonstrate how to load and utilize the mapping screen on an Ag Leader in Command 1200 or 800 display. The basic steps to begin any supported operation in the field display are similar. Once you understand this process, you will be a more efficient display operator. The first step is to tap the app on the home screen of the operation you wish to begin. The field operation wizard requires you to select the proper operating configuration for all six available operations. For this example, we will load a tillage configuration. You can select existing configurations using the top drop down menu. Edit the selected configuration using the wrench or add a new configuration by tapping the green plus. In this window, we can verify that all required components and modules are connected and communicating. Tap the next arrow. With Enable Management checked, use the drop down menus to select the proper growing season, grower, farm, and field. If a boundary has previously been created, it will be previewed in this window. Tapping a green plus will allow you to add a new management item. By unchecking Enable Management, log data will be saved to an event, date, and time instead of a grower, farm, or field. For more details about creating management items, review the Management Setup Items tutorial. Tap the next arrow. You can either start a new event or select a previous event to log the data to. Tap the next arrow. In the options screen, you can edit the name of the first region. Tap the green check to load to the mapping screen. Whenever a new event is started, the user will be presented with the new guidance pattern screen. From this screen, you can change the pattern type, import a guidance line, and edit your guidance width. For more details about guidance lines, review Creating and Managing Guidance Lines tutorial. Tap the red X. Depending on the operation selected, there will be different tabs, graphs, and icons displayed on the mapping screen. Tap on the toolbox on the left to view the legend, markers, field operations, and guidance options. On the legend tab, the current stat being logged will be displayed. Tap the drop down to edit your legend. Additional stats may be available based on the operation. Tap the wrench icon to modify map options for the selected layer. To change between layers, swipe left or right. On the markers tab, tap the wrench to select existing, add new, or remove markers from the list. The load reference marks allows you to view marks previously recorded in other operations. Tap created markers in this tab to add them to the map. In the field tab, tap boundary to open boundary options. Tap the green plus to create a new inner or outer boundary and select the specific location when recording the boundary. Tap the red minus to remove any unwanted boundaries. The clear all button will remove all boundaries associated with the current field. You may also import or export boundary files with a USB inserted in the display. Tap headlands to enable or disable headlands. Add new headlands. Load a previous headland. Modify headland offsets and edit the alarm settings. Tap the drop down to edit the active working area. Tap save to save your specific headland setup. By tapping the topography button, you can create new elevation surveys, add a previously created survey, remove any unwanted surveys, and pick from multiple surveys to set as one as active for the field. Tap the Guidance tab. If a guidance line was not 
previously created, you now have the option to create a new pattern or load a pattern from the display. By tapping Manage Patterns, you can remove, import, or export patterns. In the taskbar in the lower left-hand corner, there are three ways to view your information. You can tap on the Event Summary button, which displays the details about the current operation and regions. The mapping screen icon will return you to the default map view. Repeatedly tapping the mapping icon will change the view from the vehicle to the north-oriented field view. Tapping in the center of the mapping screen allows you to toggle views and flip the vehicle's direction of travel. The split screen button, available only in the In Command 1200, will allow you to view simultaneous maps, different vehicle views, and any reference map available for this field. In the Legends tab, you can change what is mapped on each side. Tap the mapping icon to exit the split screen. Where Aptical, on the taskbar, you may have an auto swath icon and a logging icon on the right. Tap on either of those icons to turn them on or off. Tap on the status indicator button in the top right to see GPS information, display and module diagnostics, data transfer tools, and Agfinity features like remote support and displaycast. Across the top, you can see on the display screen your current speed and the total area covered during the operation. At the top left of the display is the menu, which gives you quick access to the regularly used management and setup features without suspending the event or leaving the mapping screen. More menu options appear depending on the current operation. Now you will be able to successfully load and utilize the mapping screen in an Ag Leader in Command 1200 or 800 display. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to see more short tutorials from Ag Leader.